Hey friends, today we are going to be making a jellyfish painting. So the very first thing we're going to be doing is to paint our background. We have paint, we have our paper, and we have a paintbrush. But we're going to be painting our entire paper, so I'm going to give you a file folder to make sure that we can paint on the edge of our paper without it getting on the table. Now what we don't have is water because you are not going to wash your brush. You are just going to keep picking up color from your palette and putting it on your paper. The water in the ocean or any other body of water has more than one color. It's not just all the same blue. So I gave you guys blue, purple, and green because they are analogous colors. They're next to each other on the color wheel. And a lot of times water has all of these colors. So you're just gonna keep picking up colors from your palette putting them onto your paper, and as you move your paintbrush around, it's going to mix those colors on your paper. And it's kind of cool if you leave it streaky because then it looks like layers of water, but it's totally up to you. We just want to make sure that your whole paper is painted with your colors, your blue, green, purple, white. Try to make sure that you're keeping your paper on that file folder so you don't get any paint on the table. When your whole paper is covered, you're going to set your paintbrush aside for a second. The very first thing you ever do when you're done painting is to take your painting to the drying rack so you make sure it doesn't get messed up. Then your egg carton can be thrown away, wash your paintbrush, and the file folder either goes in a stack or on the drying rack. Once it's dry, we're going to use chalk to make jellyfish and plants because at the bottom of the ocean are various types of plants. You're going to take white chalk, you're going to draw a rainbow line, like an upside down U. At the bottom, you're going to draw a squiggly line. Then, with either your finger or a tissue, you are going to rub in that chalk. Because jellyfish are translucent. They do have color, but you can kind of see through them. So that's what we're doing with our finger is we're smoothing the chalk into that shape of our jellyfish, but we're not completely coloring it in because we still want to be able to see through it like a real jellyfish. If you're not getting a whole lot of chalk coming off, you can go back over it and then rub it in. Then our jellyfish does have tentacles, so you can add the little tentacles underneath your jellyfish. And I want you to draw at least three jellyfish on your paper. When you're done drawing your jellyfish, it's time to add some plants. So I do have other colors of chalk. You can use black or you can use different types of greens. You're going to use them to draw like some seaweed or some other plants that live at the bottom of the ocean. Most of the time they're squiggly because they're flowing with the water. Sometimes there's pieces that have leaves, sometimes they're just by themselves, whatever you want to do. We just want to make it look like the jellyfish are living inside the ocean. 